the honey badger is an opening system that can be played as white or black against anything. On Lee Chess, I'm Elliot1776. If you've played me, you've played against the honey badger. Let me show you what the opening moves are. While this might look silly, there is a purpose, there is some thought behind these, the placement of these pieces. Now, the first thing I want you to see, by the way, this is the honey badger, this, this setup. You can play this as white or black against anything. First thing I want you to see, this diagonal. Each one of these squares, here, 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 we control each one of these squares four times. That means that for your opposition to ever be able to push upon past this barrier, he's going to have to organize his pieces such that he can attack the square four times, the same way we're defending it four times. It's the first thing. Next thing is this knight. As silly as it looks, it controls very important squares. Here, 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 and here. And in one move, to jump to here and attack here, here, and here. All three, and here, all three very useful squares. Ideal of the honey badger is simple. We're gonna leave the king in the center. If they ever castle to the king's side, we've got ready-made attack. The knight's jumping in here. If they try to stop the knight, if they ever play that h3, there's an instant sack here, 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 knight jumps in here, have to take the knight uh, to uh, avoid mate. Here, here. Ready made attack if they ever go that way. If they castle queen side, if they castle queen side, you're more than you're more than ready to attack them on the queen side. By the way, Queen here supports this move here and here. Bishop here supports this expansion. If they've got too much here, you can hang here or here to here. So you, I mean, within within two moves, you're you're, you're attacking the king side. You're opening up lines. Once again, notice the notice the diagonals of the bishops. They're unimpeded, so you don't have to move anything. This bishop is bearing down on this position right away. Same with this one over here. Um. Let's look at some games. All right. E8, the honey badger move. This push, thematic, this push. Knight jumps in. If, if they had played H6, I would have sacked. But since they didn't, the knight jumps here. Back, here, here. This move is here, coming here to here. Move. Sack. Once again, if they ever take here, it's open here in this position. And remember, once again, this is primarily, uh, I would say, a bullet weapon, although I've played it in three-minute and five-minute games, and it seems to hold up. I mean, I, I, I didn't lose because of, the, because of the system. I lost because I did something stupid or I was outmatched, but the system itself seemed to hold up. But, I, but I, I've been playing it exclusively in bullet for the last couple of months, and uh, I've done pretty well. I beat some, I beat be some pretty high players, 24, 2300 players using this system. So I think it has some merit. It, it's definitely, if nothing else, as a surprise weapon against somebody who you don't want to get into a theoretical battle with. So here, here, obviously that's a blunder here, here. I blunder myself in a second. Once again, these are mini games. Um, of course, I'm going to show you a victory. <laughs> And there you have it. Example of a sack 
on H3 or H6. Ernie Badger. Sack. Knight cops in. Okay, here's an example of queenside pressure. Okay, the honey badger. Thematic push here, supported by the queen. If he ever takes, you can retake here. You can have you have a lot of options. I always take with the pawn though. Now look at this position here. How does he ever push a pawn anywhere? Can't push here. He can rearrange his pieces, but then once again, you've got one, two, three, four here, four here, and four here. You know, there's no way that he's going to push past here without losing a pawn. And look at my bishop's diagonals. Clear and open. Beautiful, beautiful diagonal here. This bishop is going to combine with this rook and put pressure on the queen's side, as you'll see in a second. Bishop here supports along with here, supports the push. Next move here. Here, breaking through. And Honey Badger strikes again. If you familiarize yourself with the concepts, the piece placement, and you just fool around with it. I'd say play it exclusively for a couple of weeks on bullet. And I guarantee you that your bullet rating will improve. It's a great system. It's a great way to catch people off guard. They think you're just moving the pieces around. They have no idea the thoughts behind it. Once again, it's primarily, a, I would say, a bullet weapon. That people don't have enough time to figure it out. And it's nice to, when you're in a situation where you know where you're going and they don't know where they're going. I'll be making more uh, videos probably. This is my first time ever making a video, as I'm sure you can tell. Hopefully they'll get better. Um, give it a try, though.